kind of a smaller version of Sydney. It has towers, the bridge, but it's not as big as you'd expect. Auckland's pretty famous for its sky tower. It is probably one of the most popular tourist destinations in Auckland. You can see all of the city and the harbour bridge. The best thing to do would be going to Rainbow City and going on the new rides. And I just love going there. Auckland Zoo is a place where you can find animals that you haven't seen before and where you can get up close. You can just come here and spend the day and have fun. I just love it. MOTAT is a museum of transport and technology. It gives you lots of knowledge. It's a really good place to be. Auckland Museum is cool because it tells you all about history and cultures and animals. A good thing for kids to do in Auckland is go to tree adventures. At the end there's a big zip line you can zip down it. I would say the best thing to do is the Devonport guns. You can go under these tunnels, it's a good fun day out. Kelly Tartans is so fun, I'd highly recommend it to anybody. They have a range of different sea life there and it's so fun. The Auckland's Harbour Bridge connects the city and the more residential side of Auckland together and you can climb up to the side of it and actually bungee jump off. Botanic Gardens is so fun. You can run around, have fun and have picnics. Oh, it's free, but it costs 20 cents for a bag of food to feed the ducks and eels. Yes, it's worth it. Waihiki Island is an island off Auckland and it's really exotic, you could say. You should come to Auckland because Auckland has many opportunities to go and do things and see things. It's just really fun to come here and visit. Come to Auckland, please, you'll love it. Hi, I'm Matthew and I'm 14. And I'm Ryan and I'm 20. And today we're at Snow Park. You can actually hire clothes here. You don't have to bring your own warm stuff and you can hire helmets. The guys are sorting me out the snowboard boots in my size. Just go like that to tighten it up. I'm going to go snowboarding now. Check out the slope. Wow, these doors are heavy. It's too lots to go through to get to the snow. It's just like real snow. It's really cold as well. Okay, I have a pass that allows me to go snowboarding and skiing. But first up, I'm gonna try snowboarding on the beginner slopes to see if I got any skill. Snowboarding is harder than it looks. It's when you feel like it's hard to stand back up. My top tip is to hold on to the platter when you're going up and don't lean too far back or otherwise you'll just fall off. I found snowboarding a lot harder than skiing. I'm going to have a go at skiing now. I've moved from my snowboard. In skiing, you can move both legs individually and you're a lot more free. You also go faster on skis. Mum's watching us from the cafe and she can see everything we're doing through the big window. The best thing about today was being able to go down the slopes and having good fun on the snow. My top tip if you're going to visit Snow Planet here is to bring a beanie because it's quite cold out there. At the moment it's negative 3 degrees. I'll rate Snow Planet at 10 out of 10 because it has lots of fun stuff to do. I rate Snow Planet at 10 out of 10 and if you're a cold lover you're going to love this place. So fun, I guarantee you'll enjoy it if you come to Snow Planet. I'm Tom. And I'm Felix. Welcome and we're to... in Wellington! Woo! Wellington is a very nice place to visit. It's got beautiful beaches. It can get quite hot, but usually it's windy, and it's a good place to come. I reckon the best thing to do in Wellington is go to Te Papa. Ew! Te Papa is a museum to learn about in New Zealand culture and Māori culture, the natural environment and wildlife. It's a really awesome place. Welcome to Wellington! Yeah, if you're coming as a tourist to Wellington, I highly recommend you coming on the cable car. It's a very fun ride and it does have quite a good view at the very top. And it's right beside the Wellington Cable Car Museum and the Botanical Gardens. We're here at the Botanical Gardens. It's loads of fun. You can just go for a walk, play, climb trees. Why don't you go check out the bucket tree it's here in Wellington City? There's also an observatory. And it's good for stargazing. 
it's free, loads of fun, lots to do. You can spend a whole day here, basically. Go to the Wellington City and see. It's very fun. It, it teaches you about a lot of stuff, especially the city and sea. I think where it gets its name from. Wellington is the capital city of New Zealand. Our Prime Minister Brooks and the Beehive. The Parliament building is called the Beehive as it is in the shape of a beehive. And you can get guided tours around it and they show you all around. Wellington Zoo is a place to go. I would recommend it on a sunny day, not a windy day. If it's too windy, a lot of the animals will be in its cave. It is free to view the Weta Cave that shows you smallish props from stuff like Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. But you can pay a little bit extra if you want to have a guided tour around all their special props and their behind the scenes work. It's very worth visiting. We have a few mini golf courses, the best of which is Kaluchi Land. It's like made by this one guy, he makes loads of really cool things. It's a really good course and it's really crazy. I would describe Wellington City as a fun place to do a range of activities. It's a great city for everyone. And now you know a bit about this great capital. I'm Tom. And I'm Felix. And we're, and we're going, going to Te Papa. Te Papa is a museum to learn about New Zealand culture and Māori culture. The animals in New Zealand, the natural environment and wildlife. Max was our tour guide. He showed us some really cool stuff and he also told us some really good information. We're, we're going, going into, into awesome, awesome Forces. Jeez, it's <laughs> scary. Awesome Forces is showing you about how New Zealand was formed and how it's still changing right now. And we went in the earthquake house too and yeah, we loved Awesome Forces. We uh, went to the mountains to see and learnt about nature and bird life. That's the only colossal squid that's on display anywhere in the world. It weighs half a ton. Did you get this blue? Yes, I got it! This is nature space. We got to zoom in on rocks and insects, so that was cool. Welcome to life. The blue whale weighs as much as 52 elephants. And it is as bleak as a plane. We're going to Blood, Earth and Fire. Uh, it's, it's really, really good. good. There are no native mammals in New Zealand. Except the native bat. We went to the Marae and we did some brass rubbing. I like the ancestors of Europeans and Maoris. The gardening one and the person in jail. The Father is a really good place to go. If you're visiting Wellington, so I recommend to go here. I would give it a 10 out of 10 because it's really fun and fascinating. It is something for everyone at Te Papa. It's a really awesome place. One of my favourite things to do during the winter is to go skiing here in the mountains that surround Queenstown. The winter season starts in mid-July and ends in the beginning of October. Around Queenstown there are three places to ski. Remarkable Ski Field, Coronet Peak and Cadrona Alpine Resort. Coronet Peak is closest to the town centre and is often associated with ski race as they have a big team called Quast. They also do night skiing on a Friday and Saturday night. The Remarkables is very family orientated and really good for beginners. They also have a great terrain park. Cadrona is my most preferred resort because of its wide range of different ability trails. Cadrona also has their only Olympic halfpipe in the Southern Hemisphere. They also hold the annual New Zealand Winter Games and have one of the best terrain parks, backcountry and on-piece trails. Cadrona is really an all-over mountain, great for families and great for skiers of all abilities. I love to ski and most kids learn to ski first. I love to ski because I love the feeling of being up on a mountain and it's pretty special to be able to ski. I think that New Zealand ski resorts are special because they offer great family fun and adventure. They are also operational all year round with skiing and snowboarding in the winter and mountain biking in the summer. 
I think that you should definitely come to New Zealand and definitely Queenstown because New Zealand is such an amazing place. It's so beautiful everywhere you go and there's so many things to do here, whether it's skiing, bungee jumping, hiking, jet boating or any of the many other things that you can do here. It's such an awesome place to come to. Rotorua, it's a beautiful place to live. You have heaps of places to go. It's famous because oh, all the hot mud pools, they grow bubbles and they pop, and then all the smell just goes straight up, and then you can smell it. Thermal spring smells like rotten eggs because of the sulphur. It's really kid friendly for lots of kids and families to come along. Rainbow Springs is a fun place where you can do tons of activities. So we looked at the kiwis. We also saw a lot of birds. We learnt about the lizards, so totally try it, definitely. Itai is a Māori culture experience. Hāngi! It can help you learn more about the Māori culture in New Zealand. We put a lot of effort into it. The setting's amazing. I definitely think they should come. You can go to the museum. You can learn about the history and you can make stuff and when it's Halloween it's spooky as to go there. Today we are at Hook Falls Jet Boat Ride. <laughs> we went very, very close to the trees. It's awesome! Agrodome is really fun because there's lots of different species of animals here. We went on the farm sport. We went to the nursery and my favourite part would have been milking the cow because I don't really milk cows very often. It was really fun but I splattered milk on myself. Skyline's garage which you can go up in a gondola and then you go up to the top and you can see the whole city from the top of the mountain which is Mount Nomato. Going on the luge, it's really fun because you zoom down on little carts. The Redwoods is the uh, biggest forest. You can go mountain biking, you can take your horse there, or go for a walk. Rotorua is good because there's a variety of different choices for you and your family to do, and it's a really fun place to come. Bye, Rotorua! Welcome to Hellscape. 2.5 metres under the ground from where we are standing here is a magma spike. So that is what is the driver is behind this park. <laughs> this one here is the Hellscape pool. The darker the mud, the higher the temperature of the water will be. The landscape is laden with sulphur. It's good for you to sniff it up into your lungs. It really is. Mm. Yes, it is. And it cleans the lungs. The reason why these waters are able to go in excess of 100 degrees is because of the minerals in the mud. They elevate the heat. Every pool in the park has its own uh, steam chambers and water reservoirs. The tribe would come along and they'd see that it was pointing this way. Then the last guy in the tribe would turn it over or throw it another way. So if they were being followed, they'd go the wrong way. To Mimi or Kākahi means the urine and before they knew about the healing properties in the sulphur they used to use urine to heal their cuts and wounds. Scientists know that in the ground here under the surface is a tremendous amount of methane gas mm. and they have found living in our soil here is a methanotroph they call it and it is, eats methane, only eats methane. It's fast. <laughs> there you go. Anywhere where methane is produced, this little bug is eating it all up. This is one of the hot spots. When the air temperature up here gets to be in about the 30 degrees, the ground is going to be in excess of 120 degrees. And in the right mix of these conditions, but bang, up she goes. This one is of interest because it's the largest known mud volcano to be in existence that has not collapsed yet. This is one of our islands that's old in the park. The steaming cliff. Anywhere between 122 and 144 degrees. And that's only unto about a metre. And then they cannot take the temperature any further than that. The equipment keeps breaking. So in our park we've got grey mud, black mud, and we have magic white mud. 
cosmetic companies want to give us millions and millions of dollars for this mud because it's used to make sunblock, moisturizers and all kinds of things. What yeah. you have to do is you just got to put a bit of friction into there and then it just starts turning into this amazing cream oh. thing and we've got a cold water creek that you want. Hi, my name is Deanna. Hi, my name is Bunk. My name is Kate. My name is Ryan. Tilda. We waited and we got a Mi Tai bus. And they took us to where we are right now at the Mi Tai village. Great trial with Mini Nation. Welcome to our place. Mi Tai is a Maori culture experience. We are going to have a hangi. Hangi. Yum. It's a traditional Māori feast. We're going to see the warriors in the big waka. The Māori warriors were really interesting and it was really fun to watch. That show was really cool. Caleb was our chief and he greeted the other chief as well. And me and Diana sang the song. There was lots of different weapons and musical instruments that they demonstrated for us. My favourite part of the show was where they were all dancing. After the show we had dinner and it was really, really yum. Yum! So good! After that we walked in the dark with some torches and went down to the bridge to see some glow worms. So it's, it's poop that makes it glow. It was fun. It's a really good experience and it can help you learn more about the Māori culture and New Zealand. They put a lot of effort into it. The setting's amazing. It's, I definitely think they should come. I reckon that it was a great night. Awesome! Awesome too! My name is Hi, I'm Holly. I'm 12. My hometown's Queenstown and Queenstown is, it's kind of a crazy place. It's really cold in the winter and really, really hot in the summer. And there's lots of different people here from like all over the world. There's a big lake and there's a mountain so it looks quite alpine. And in the winter they have lots of snow on them. In Queenstown there's three places you can ski and they're all very different. There's Coronet, then there's Remarkables, and then Kadrona's a little bit in between. Well there's a lot of things to do in Queenstown. The gondola is really nice for the views and they have a luge up there and they also do a, a night star experience which is cool. The luge, two track, the scenic track is the track just to get you started and then the other track is just a faster and difficult track. You can get quite fast on the luge, a bit of an adrenaline rush. The Segway is also quite scenic but also lots of fun for kids. It was hard at the start but once you got the hang of it, it was really easy and yeah, fun. We turned the shot over here, which is awesome, exciting and freaky. We're really close to the rocks. Not many people get to do this around the world. Awesome, amazing and scary. My favourite thing is Zip Trek. It's lots of fun. It's like a flying fox like through the trees. It's really cool. After school I do biking around. They've got lots of really cool tracks here. Mini golf, which is an outdoor mini golf and they also have an indoor mini golf. The ice skating rink, which is really nice and big but it's quite cold so yeah. The Kiwi Bird Life Park, that was really cool and there's lots of birds there. They also have a Kiwi bird, which is cool. The Remarkable Sweet Shop, which is famous in Queenstown and they have lots of fudge and lollies. You can go swim in the lake because it's really nice and it's really clear. It's not got lots of rubbish in it. Lake Wakatipu, which is the main lake. And there's Lake Hayes, which is a lot warmer and a lot of families go there. Yeah, I would definitely recommend people going to Queensland on holiday. Well, it's the venture capital of the world, and so there's loads of cool things that you can do indoors and outdoors. The three words I'd use would be crazy, adventurous, and beautiful. Hi, my name's Finn, and I'm 12 years old, and I live in Crash 
It's a warm, bustling place with lots of flowers because it is called the Garden City for a reason. During 2011 and 2010, there was a massive earthquake that damaged most of the city. Well, the city's now being rebuilt and being built better, which is pretty cool. This guy built the new cathedral, which is made out of cardboard, and it's all colourful and looks really, really good. It snows really close during the winter. In fact, it snows in the city. It's snowed three years in a row. If I could recommend anything for kids to do in Christchurch, I would recommend the gondola and some of the amazing beaches and the Brighton Pier. Came through New Zealand, it's great. Imagine I was walking around back then. <laughs> Must have been pretty freaky. Lots of exhibitions, good Egyptian exhibition. It's really good and I definitely, definitely recommend it. Quake City's excellent. All the exhibitions are great and, and yeah, it's just really fun. The International Arctic Centre is where you can explore the history of all the different countries in Antarctica and you can go in a room where there's a snow blizzard and, and it's really, really good. The Restart Mall is a place to, well, it's a mall. You can go shopping, eat, do whatever you want and it's pretty cool because it's made out of containers. Lots of people there, it's nice. On the River Avon you can go punting, kayaking, and it's really good. Weekend markets are great, there's tons of different stalls and it's really good and a good spot as well. Yes, I would recommend families come to Christchurch because it's a beautiful city with great forests and beaches and great exhibitions. It's really, really good. Tom, take it away. Kelda. Hi, I'm Bella. I'm from Auckland. Hello. Hi, I'm Holly. I'm my hometown's Queenstown. It's a beautiful place to live. Welcome. I'm an infant and I live in Christchurch. Welcome to Wellington! This is exciting! It's scary! It can help you learn more about the Māori culture. And oh, it's really cool! The scenery really got me because it was so beautiful. <laughs> Just loads of fun, there's nothing better. So much fun! I think I'd say it's awesome. I definitely, definitely recommend it. Wasn't really expecting it, but man, it was an amazing. It's kind of a must see. It's just a really good place to come. You'll love it. Cheers. <laughs> 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 and so she said, oh, Jenny, Jenny, honey.